This is 2020. Tonight. What I loved about his face more than anything else was that his eyes smiled. I just couldn't resist him. A woman in the shadows of Camelot comes out of seclusion determined to give her account of a scandalous past. This may be the last confession of Judith Campbell Exner, a dying woman haunted by events of 30 years ago. The worst thing I did was fall in love with a married man. Tonight, her final dramatic claims about the president and the underworld and the explosive secret she's lived with for years. I told him and he said, Oh, my God. He said, what are you going to do? Lynn Sure, with a woman linked to a time and a man America can't forget. It is probably safe to say that the most charismatic president we've ever had was John F. Kennedy. But we now know that there were dark shadows over the Camelot years, stories of extramarital affairs. It seems fairly certain now that President Kennedy did have a relationship with a woman named Judith Campbell Exner. Tonight, you'll meet her. Faced with a fatal illness, Judith Exner says she wants to set the record straight about her past and the man she says was the great love of her life. She did so in the new issue of Vanity Fair magazine, and then she sat down for an interview with our own Lynn Schur. Lynn now brings us Judith Exner's final confession. I can, at this time, emphatically state that my relationship with Jack Kennedy was of a close personal nature. She burst into our consciousness as the other woman, Judith Campbell Exner, a mysterious brunette who said she'd had a romance with John F. Kennedy while he was president, while he was married. To me, he was Jack Kennedy and he was not the president. She first spoke out in 1975, reluctantly after someone identified her as the person the Senate committee called a close friend of the president. The public vilified her. Critics called her a party girl with links to the mafia. Over the years, the bits and pieces of her story that emerged made her an object of intrigue and disbelief. Today, her saga has come down to this, a life alone behind drawn curtains in Southern California. And now Judith Exner has one more disclosure, a shocking coda to a sensational drama. I don't want to tell him. I think that's... it's... I, I feel like I, my life has been so invaded um, that I would have to tell something so personal like this. We met Judith Exner last week. At 62, um, suffering from terminal cancer, she still wears her dark brown hair in the shoulder-length style of the 1960s. Um, her know, face uh, still glows with the clear skin of the beautiful woman who grew up in a well-to-do family with plenty of Hollywood connections. Her first marriage to actor Billy Campbell lasted only five years. He had an affair with every woman he made a picture with. Later, she briefly dated Frank Sinatra, then remained close friends with him. So when Sinatra invited her to see him perform at the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas in February 1960, she gladly accepted. And there, she says, he introduced her to Jack Kennedy a senator from Massachusetts who was running for president. Exner noted his name in her date book, and on the next day as well, when Kennedy asked her to lunch. Jack called me in my room, and... When was that? Uh, sometime that morning. Had he made an impression on you? You can't help but be impressed by, by him. Um, that is what Jack was all about. When he talked to you, uh, there could be a hundred people around, and he made you feel like you were the only person there and the only person that mattered. According to Exner, they I, talked I, over I lunch for several hours. When you had lunch with him that afternoon, did you know he was married? No, I didn't. I can honestly say I didn't know.